And please put the attention on the breath for just a few moments. And now think of your most beloved person. And as you think of that most beloved person in your life, become aware of the feeling for that person in your heart. The warmth, the caring, the embracing, the togetherness. And as you become aware of that feeling, transfer that same feeling to yourself. There's no difference between your most beloved person and yourself. Have that same feeling of warmth and care and embrace yourself. Be filled from head to toe with the warmth from your heart and surround yourself with that care that you have for the most beloved person and use the same for yourself. Now put your attention on the person sitting nearest you in this hall and have the same feelings for that person as you have for your most beloved person. Make no difference between any one and another. Fill that person nearest you with love and care. With a feeling of togetherness. And surround that person with the warmth emanating from your heart. become aware of the feeling for your most beloved person again. Be totally imbued with it. Let it seep through every fiber of your body, through every fiber of your heart. And then think of your parents, whether they're still alive or not. And let them have that same feeling as a gift from you. The most wonderful gift you can give. And see how much joy that brings to them. Think of those people who are nearest and dearest to you, whom you might live with, and let them all have that same feeling of love and care and nearness that you have for your most beloved person, without expecting to get anything in return, 
as a pure gift from your heart. Think of your friends, acquaintances, relatives, whoever comes to mind. Becoming aware of the feeling for your most beloved person. Let it spread out to all those people, friends, acquaintances, relatives. Let each one become the same as your most beloved person. Let them feel the warmth from your heart and see the joy that that brings to them. Think of all the people whom you meet in your everyday life who are an important part of your life. Neighbors, people at work, people in shops, on the street, postmen, students, patients, teachers, Whoever comes to mind, let them all become the same as your most beloved person by giving them the gift of your heart, the feeling of togetherness, the care and concern. Embrace each of them. and see how much joy and happiness that brings to them. Now think of a difficult person in your life or several difficult persons whom you reject or have been angry at or someone who's been angry at you. Feel that feeling that you have for your most beloved person and then extend it to that difficult person. And you will see that the difficulty dissolves. It glides off your shoulders and you can embrace that difficult person too.
become aware of the feeling for your most beloved person again. Feel the warmth, the nearness, the care, the beautiful feeling of being concerned with another person and not oneself. And then let that beautiful feeling flow out of your heart like a golden stream embracing every person that that stream contacts. First, all the people who are present in this hall. Then, let that stream flow further to everyone present here at Green Gutch. And let this golden stream go further and go over its banks and embrace as many people as you can reach. Everyone that lives around here, whether known or not, or having seen them or not, people in your own area, everywhere where people are, let that golden stream of the beautiful feeling of love and care reach out as far as it will go. go further and further as far as the strength of that feeling will reach think of your most beloved person again Be totally imbued with that feeling. Let all of you be just that feeling. And internalize it. So that the feeling of love and care is for yourself. protecting you, giving you a feeling of safety and security within yourself. Let nothing within you interfere with the warmth of the love in your heart which spreads all over you and surrounds you. people everywhere have love for one another.
please put the attention on the breath for just a few moments. Imagine that you have a beautiful white lotus flower growing in your heart. Most beautiful flower which opens all its petals until it's fully open. And a golden stream of light comes out of the center of that lotus flower and fills you from head to toe with light and warmth and beauty and you feel secure and protected within that warmth that comes from your heart. And now let that golden stream of light from the center of your heart reach out and fill the person sitting nearest you with love and light and warmth. And surrounding that person with the rays of this golden light. giving the gift of your heart and we'll think of our parents whether they're still alive or not and the golden stream of light from the center of our heart reaches out to their hearts and we give them the greatest gift we have love and care gratitude and fill them with that golden light so that they feel our togetherness and our nearness And we'll think of those people who are nearest and dearest to us, those that we might live with, those that are most meaningful in our lives. And we let the golden stream of light from the center of our heart reach out and illuminate their hearts with warmth and light giving the best we have, the care and the warmth that live in our hearts and that are just waiting to be given away. And when we give them away, 
we don't want to expect anything in return. We think of friends, acquaintances, relatives, whoever comes to mind. And that golden stream of light that comes from our heart reaches out to all of them, fills them with the delight of warmth and illumination and splendor and we see the happiness that they get from that we think of those people whom we meet in our everyday lives. They play an important part in our lives. Our neighbors, people at work, in offices that we visit, in shops. patients, teachers, students, whoever might be a part of everyday living, let them all arise before your mind's eye. See them clearly. And then let the golden stream of light from the center of your heart reach out to them to make them your beloved people for whom you care with the warmth of your heart. And you can see quite clearly that the rays of this golden stream of light illuminate their heart bring some joy. And now we'll think of a person we don't like. Someone whom we either have been angry at or are permanently rejecting, whose ideas and ideals we don't share, whose actions we consider bad or evil. Anyone or several Or if we can't think of anyone who's very difficult for us, then anyone towards whom we are indifferent. And we let the golden stream of light from the center of our heart reach out 
to the difficult or the indifferent person. And we can see that their hearts become shining and golden, full of the warmth of love. And so we can let go of the difficulty or the indifference and feel our togetherness. And now we let the golden stream of light from the center of our heart flow out like a golden stream that gathers momentum, goes over its banks and reaches out to as many people as it can touch, bringing the beauty of love and the light of care and compassion to as many people as possible. First, we let this golden stream reach out to everyone here and touch everyone's heart with the gold, with the light, with the warmth of love. And then to everyone at Green Gulch. And then we let this stream of light flow further and further to people whom we know or those we have just seen or those that we just know about or those that we assume are there. We let it flow into their houses, into their hearts. All around here, further afield, into the whole city, the towns and cities that are further away, as far as the strength of our heart will reach, we let this stream of golden light flow to touch the hearts of as many people as possible. And we can feel that the more we let it flow, the more strength it gathers. And we put the attention back on ourselves. and are aware of the golden stream of light filling us from head to toe, illuminating, giving us the splendor of light, surrounding us with the warmth of love. And then we let the 
golden stream of light go back inside the lotus flower which closes its petals and then we anchor that beautiful flower in our heart so that it may become one with it May people everywhere learn to love. And please put the attention on the breath for just a few moments. With your next in-breath, breathe in peace from wherever you think peace exists, in the air around you, in the trees outside, in the night sky, in the clouds, in the stars. Breathe it in. Fill yourself with peace from head to toe and feel it surging through you, giving you a solid foundation within. And on your next outbreath, breathe out love the warmth from your heart and surround yourself with that. Keep on breathing in peace, filling yourself with it and breathing out love and surrounding yourself with it. Now put your attention on the person nearest you in this hall and breathe out love and peace to that person, filling him or her with peace and surrounding him or her with love. Giving the greatest gift that we have to give love and peace and we can only give it if we carry it within Now we think of our parents, and on each breath that goes out, we breathe out love and peace to them. We fill them with it, we surround them with it, we give them the whole of our heart. And we can see that our own heart does not become diminished by that. On the contrary, it gains more love and peace. 
the more we give it away. And we think of those people who are nearest and dearest to us. And those that we might live with. We breathe out love and peace to them. And we breathe it out so that they can breathe it in. And they can feel the love that we manifest for them and they can feel the peace that is surrounding them and filling them. And we don't expect any return for this gift. And once more, we breathe in peace into ourselves from the air around us, from the night sky above us, from the trees, from the flowers, from the clouds, from anything that we feel contains peace. And we fill ourselves with it. And once more, we breathe out love from the warmth of our heart. And we surround ourselves with it so that we have sufficient to give it away as gifts to people we meet. And we think of our friends and acquaintances and relatives. And for each one, we breathe out love and peace and see that they can actually absorb that and become joyful. We think of the people whom we meet in our everyday life, those that are our almost constant companions in everyday living, neighbors, people at work, people in the shops that I frequent, people in our neighborhood. patience, anyone that comes to mind that is part of our daily living. We 
we breathe out love and peace to each one of them, filling them with peace, surrounding them with love. And we notice and become aware that they can actually connect to that, absorb it, take it in, and be joyful, receiving this beautiful gift. we think of a difficult person in our life or someone we are totally indifferent towards or someone who finds us difficult and just as we continue breathing and just as our breath goes in and out as a natural way of being so we breathe out love and peace to the difficult person. And all the difficulties float away. Love and peace remains. And we have that inner connection to even the difficult person knowing them in a different way. And as we continue breathing, we breathe out love and peace to people near and far. Nothing else enters our mind except doing that. And first, we breathe out love and peace to everyone assembled here. And the whole atmosphere around us is imbued with love and peace. And then we include all the people at Green Gulch. And the air all around us, amongst the trees and the houses, contains love and peace. And then we go further afield, as far as the strength of our hearts will allow. And we keep on breathing out love and peace, so that anyone that we can touch has access to it. Go to the people we know, those we have seen, we have heard about, and those that we assume are there. And we breathe out love and peace so that the atmosphere, as far as we can reach, contains nothing but love and peace. We 
we breathe out love and peace to nature around us, the trees, the flowers, the vegetables, bushes, the grass, the pathways, All can be in that atmosphere of love and peace. We breathe out love and peace to all the animals that may be around here. Birds, insects, worms, caterpillars, raccoons, all the animals we can think of, they too can then live in an atmosphere of love and peace. And now we breathe out love and peace to the night sky above us, to the moon and the stars and the clouds. And there's nothing left in the universe except love and peace. And we put our attention back on ourselves and we breathe in peace and fill ourselves with that and we breathe out love and surround ourselves with that. And we recognize the strength and the security and the protection that we have when we feel filled with peace and surrounded by love. May people everywhere Cultivate love and peace in their hearts. And please put the attention on the breath for just a few moments. Look at all the good things that are happening in your life and be immensely grateful for them, such as good friends, good food, a nice home,
no real poverty. The body in fairly good condition. Lovely weather. The teachings of the Buddha. All causes for great gratitude. Find all the good things in your life. And fill your heart with gratitude. Don't take anything for granted. Be grateful that you can see out of two eyes. That you can taste the food. Digest it well. Walk around. Hear the birds. Many, many things that we can be grateful for. Think of from yourself. Now, focus your attention on the person sitting next to you and be utterly grateful to that person that he or she are supporting your spiritual practice by their presence. And give them the gift of your gratitude. Fill them with it. See them as a companion on your path And you are grateful for that companionship. Think of your parents, whether they're still alive or not, and be utterly grateful for all the help that they have given you, particularly when you were too small to help yourself. Remember the good things and give them the gift of your gratitude. Fill them with it. Embrace them with gratitude and see the joy that that brings them.
think of your nearest and dearest people, those that you might be living with. Be utterly grateful to them that they are part of your life, that they are supportive and appreciative, that they listen to you, that you can do things together with them, that they care. Show them your gratitude. Letting it flow from your heart to their hearts. Think of your friends, acquaintances and relatives, whoever comes to your mind. Be grateful to them that they're part of your life, that you can call on them, that you can count on them, that they are there for you to talk to that they are happy to know you. Show them your gratitude by letting it flow from the center of your heart to their heart, manifesting the togetherness, the real friendship, the care and concern that you have for them. And think of those people whom you meet in everyday life. Your neighbors, the the people at your work, people you see over and over again. In the shops, in the offices, wherever you go. Be grateful to them for their presence, for their support. When you think of it, you will find how they help you, how they try to show you their friendliness, their care. So let them have the fullness of your gratitude for their presence. now think of a difficult person, anyone, whether they are a personal difficulty or a general difficulty, whoever comes to mind as a difficult person for you, 
and then be very grateful to that person for the difficulty they are providing you with because that is the most important learning situation for unconditional love. Let your gratitude flow from your heart and fill and embrace the difficult person with that because that person is the greatest teacher. Be grateful to the farmers who provide us with our food. They work in the fields with the animals. And we have nourishment. Be grateful to those people who process and then sell us the food. Without them, we wouldn't have it. See our interconnectedness, how we couldn't manage on our own. Be grateful to those people who make our clothes, put them together and sell them to us. Be grateful to those people who keep our roads in order so that we can drive on them without hindrance. Those that keep our telephone system working the postal system in order. Be grateful to the people who built your house, made the furniture, realize that none of us can manage on our own. Be grateful to any doctors or nurses that have either helped you or any of your loved ones that are trying better ways to help. Be grateful to all your teachers who have taught you anything from learning to read and write to meditation. Let the gratitude in your heart flow out to all these people. Let it be a real connection between you and all the people that are necessary for you to live. Feel that togetherness feel that interconnectedness see the truth 
of participation, of not being able to stand alone, but always being part of the whole. Put your attention back on yourself and find out where your greatest gratitude lies. and determine to show that gratitude in your life. Gratitude is akin to lovingness. They belong together. And as you fill your heart with gratitude, you can feel that this is a loss of a burden of judgment, of wanting, of rejecting and resisting. You're just grateful for all the good things in your life. Now anchor the gratitude in your heart so that it's always available. That it's always part of your feeling. May people everywhere have gratitude in their heart.